Hello friends, good morning. So today we are going to discuss a very uh, smart intelligent optimization technique that is new but very effective in comparison to uh, genetic algorithms and other swarm intelligent algorithms that is gray wolf optimization. So guys, what gray wolf optimization is? It is a swarm intelligent techniques like particle swarm optimization we have already discussed. Then uh, there is uh, say ant colony optimization and uh, many other uh, optimization techniques are available which are swarm intelligent based and this gray wolf optimization is one of them that is that was being developed by Mirza Lili at, in 2014 so it's not a very old optimization technique it is basically new but when we are comparing with the other uh, optimization techniques other swarm intelligent techniques or other optimization techniques like genetic algorithms then its result is far far better than of those so this is one of the good optimization technique we can say. Uh, what it do basically, it mimics the leadership hierarchy of wolves, which are well known for their group hunting. So we, you already know how wolves uh, find out their prey and how they hunt. And they have their own social hierarchy. They have a leader, uh, then they have some subordinates which follow the leader. Uh, then inside the subordinates there is still some hierarchy and so on so there is a strict hierarchy uh, of uh, relationships and leadership uh, and they strictly follow that kind of leadership in their life uh, say for uh, general relationship or for uh, prey for hunting the prey and so on so uh, what uh, this gray wolf optimization do it basically mimics the leadership hierarchy of wolves okay so uh, if we are talking about the social hierarchy, means uh, the, how grey wolves live and what is their social hierarchy, then they are categorized. So we normally say that the grey wolves live in uh, packs and one pack say is of 6 to 12 wolves. So all the 12 wolves, all the 6 wolves, whatever the wolves are there, uh, the number of wolves are divided into 4 different categories or 4 different levels we can say from 1 to 4. And uh, the most superior will be called alpha wolf. Then there will be beta wolf, delta wolf and omega wolves. These all four categories are divided as per their fitness. The more uh, the wolf is fit, the more uh, the higher category it will belong. Okay. If you are talking about alpha or level one category, this is the leader. It could either be a male or female and all other uh, <clears throat> wolves will have to follow him. They all have to uh, follow the decision that alpha make it, it basically responsible for decision making like uh, when to hunt uh, where to hunt and where to sleep and so on so almost all kind of decisions will be taken by alpha wolf and uh, for taking this decision there is beta wolf who helps him to take decisions <clears throat> betas are subordinate wolves which helps to take decision making beta is generally the advisor to the alpha and it uh, also ensure that that uh, inside the pack there should be discipline they are considered as the best candidate if alpha dies or uh, say uh, it become very old then in that case one of uh, the uh, say beta wolf will take his position beta also ensure that all subordinates should obey the order that alpha gives and it, they should also give their feedback to the alpha and then there is a third level of uh, wolves they are uh, normally the subordinate wolves. They are called delta wolves. They dominate omega and they reports to alpha and beta. Generally, they are categorized into different subcategories like scouts, which are responsible for watching the boundaries. There are sentinels, which are responsible for protecting the pack. Elders, they were uh, say sometimes alpha or beta, but now they are very old. So they are in this category hunters which are which helps alpha and beta in hunting and caretakers which care for ill weak and wounded wolves and the final fourth category uh, which are the least important category we can say or uh, they are the scapegoat in the pack uh, are the omega wolves they are uh, the weakest wolves in the pack and they are the last lord wolves to eat okay so uh, if you see the social hierarchy that we have discussed yet at the top we have leaders and then we have uh, these leaders are alpha wolves then we have beta which are subordinate wolves then we have delta which are scouts sentinels elders hunters and caretakers and then we have omega they, they are the lowest ranking wolves that are scapegoats so when we will use this uh, in uh, further mathematical model 
or when we, we are going to use this optimization techniques in different algorithms there we also have to take care of this kind of uh, leadership hierarchy that we must have some alpha beta and delta there uh, which are uh, say the most fittest solution we will get some fitness value of them and with whoever is the fittest out of them they will come to this category and then we will give chances to omegas to uh, to update their position so that they could become uh, they could be they could improve their position uh, to be the part of uh, this specific hierarchy when we talk about search process say simply what is our goal why we are learning this because we want to implement the gray wolf optimization in some specific tasks okay it could be any application where we are trying to implement uh, this specific algorithm for optimization purpose so that we could we could improve that algorithm in a better way so how uh, the gray wolf do the searching process specifically uh, they we are modeling uh, this specific algorithm for uh, our aim with the aim of mimicking the hunting behavior of gray wolves so it basically uh, make use three stages like searching encircling and attacking the prey the searching and encir encircling comes uh, it's dedicated to exploration part and attacking the prey um, comes to the exploitation part in exploration part normally the wolf explore all over the boundaries to search for a prey and when they find some prey they encircle it from all boundaries and once the wolf uh, sorry the prey uh, is not able to move they just attack on that one okay and the responsibility of attacking is of the alpha wolf so in this category whenever we will implement this in our programming we will do the same kind of things we will mimic this kind of activity that gray wolves are performing we will do some kind of searching for finding out our goal we will encircle uh, the specific goal by our search agents we will keep updating the positions of the search agents so that we can move closer to the goal with the help of uh, alpha beta and delta uh, say agents okay we will have the concept of alpha beta delta agents and we will uh, update the positions of omega with the help of uh, these alpha beta and delta how we will do that is the part of further videos in second part we will discuss what are the different steps of gray wolf optimization how we will do encircling how, how we will do searching and how we will do the hunting part um, and how we will mathematically model these parts that we will discuss in second part so guys uh, till then keep watching and subscribing thank you very much